Hey, welcome back everyone, with some more Spyro, and to the Dragonfly for the PlayStation 2. And now we're gonna be continuing on with Luau Island, and going through this underground cave here. As you can see, the way, um, I purposely left that green gem there, that way I know where I was going. Which, even if the green gem wasn't there, it's not that all that hard to find. Yeah, I don't see anything else along here, so... Figure I'd take it easy here and just take a gentle swim instead of torpedoing, torpedoing my way through here. Which I'm having trouble speaking right now. <laughs> but, uh, as you can see, it takes us to a whole other area of this, uh, stage. And this is where we're gonna find at least some of the switches here that we need to, in order to rescue not only Hamlet, but also the Dragonfly. Of course, climb up here, see what he has to say. Spyro, I heard you were on the island, but I didn't believe it. You gotta help me. One of the Riptox keeps calling me ham sandwich and asking me if I'd go better with mustard and mayonnaise. Well, I'm not a real big fan of mustard, but I do like mayonnaise on some stuff. Oh, wait a minute, what am I talking about? <laughs> but anyway, let's rescue this pig if we can, and... And you know those noises in the background go, nya, nya, and stuff like that? At first I thought I was a dragonfly, but it's actually these tall green Riptox acting like idiots, so... <laughs> but yeah, they make some really weird noises. As well as the pigs on here, they go, Aha! Uh -huh. So, yeah, it's definitely an interesting stage with sound effects. Now it's time to hit this switch. MB3. Actually, he's just gonna stay there. <laughs> But at least we get to go behind him, which... If I can get going here. As soon as Zoe zaps us. Now we see ourselves in the top tier of the place that we were before with, with the uh, underwater cave. And right below here... Well, actually it's over there, I'm sorry, but uh... As you can see... That door to Hamlet there is open, and now we just gotta go up here. These jumps shouldn't be too hard to make, which, funny enough, I missed that, but... Ooh, butterfly jar, nice! 20 extra lives. Okay, finish these guys up. Ooh, oh, I saw you there. <laughs> yeah, those Tiki Rip Talks can really get a one-up on you if you're not careful. I mean, they are feisty. So, like I said before, I don't think they're quite as irritating as the scuba ripped off. Hit this switch. And initial three Socrates, which is this... What this... Uh, dragonfly's name is. I can't think of what it was called there for a minute. <laughs> now we gotta climb up here, and... Up here we find ourselves with a super flame challenge, but... Luckily, this isn't as annoying as the one that we saw in uh, Dragon Realms at the beginning of this walkthrough. And the object here is there are four auto heads over here, which... I can't aim. There we go. There are four auto heads you have to destroy with the super flame before time runs out. And what I like to do is I like to stand right here in my, the portal. That way the time never comes up, never runs out, and I'll be able to shoot without losing my super flame, because if your time runs out before you destroy all four idols, you do have to do this again. So, luckily I didn't have to worry about that, and as you can see, there's two platforms that rose up. That way I can go over and get that uh, green dragonfly over there, which is named Homer, going along with uh, Socrates, the whole ancient Greek thing going on here, which I think is pretty cool. In case you're wondering, I cannot switch to Bubble Breath as long as that gauge is on the right-hand side, but now that it's gone, I can get over here. And now I can get this Dragonfly, which... Um, okay, but... What? Come on, get... Oh, come on! 
Okay, why is this working? What the heck? Oh, come on. I know this thing has bad hit detection, but come on. Okay, don't. Ah. Ah. Uh, well, as long as I have my boba breath, I might as well go down here and rescue Socrates at least. If I can. Oh, come on. Hey, it's Socrates. Okay, if I was going to have a hard time there, I really was not going to be happy. Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> Hopefully it'll work this time. I don't know what happened first you know, first time around. Okay, come on. There we go. Hey, it's Homer. Yeah, I, I don't know what to say, but I don't know if that was a glitch or something going on with the game or what, but that should have worked. And now that we've opened up this door with Hamlet, now it's time to go to the next area of this game. As you can see, this place looks rather interesting. And this, I don't know why, but for some reason this stage kind of puts me in mind of uh, Sunny Beach a little bit from Spyro 2 with those Rage. Also with that one level on Skylanders with like the beach and water theme with all the, uh, the fish people. I, I can't think of what it's called offhand, but... Uh, Scuba Rip Doc, I'll deal with you soon enough. But first, let me get this stuff. I'm gonna get this pelican here. Get some of this treasure. Okay, I could have swore I hit that base. Okay, Spyro, what are you doing? <laughs> Okay, this is definitely no, no, uh, yeah, another one of these places where you need to look out for treasure. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything there. Now I'm gonna go in the water here and try to take out these scuba rip docks if I can. I think I hit that one. Yep, release the red gem right there. Okay. Got you. Okay, get rid of you. What? Oh my gosh, I I could have swore I beat him there. Ah. Well, there goes my perfect run in this game. <laughs> Not that I was going for a perfect run anyway, but still, you know, it sucks to get hit by something like that. And that's what I was talking about earlier in this level, too, is that you do get cheap shots from these scuba rip dots, which I'm not a real big happy fan of. Which, if you're going to cause damage on me, do it legitly, not cheese uh, damage upon me. Okay. And those gems actually lead to the next area of this level, but I'm not too worried about that right now, because there's a few things here i got to get first. And like usual, since it's an underwater level, i got to make sure that I got get every single one of these gems here. That way I won't have to backtrack as much if I can, or if it's possible, which... These gems are scattered everywhere, so... If I end up backtracking here, I'm not gonna be that surprised, because they are littered and scattered everywhere. <laughs> this area of this level looks actually pretty cool with all those... arches and stuff like that. It almost reminds me a little bit of Atlantis a little bit. And I gotta admit, you know, at first I like the level in this game, but the more, the longer that you're in here, the more I feel it starts getting irritating, so... But yeah, I think I got everything in there. Gotta get a few more... 
butterflies here if I can. Now I gotta go up here to this area. Get the Come on, get down. Get down, thank you. <laughs> gotta get down. <gasps> oh, crap, I just realized something. Uh, you know... I think where I, that super flame portal was... I think I missed an area back there where there was uh, some treasure there that I didn't pick up. So there's gonna be at least one place I'm gonna backtrack because I don't feel like going back and getting it now. Yeah, I'm not going through that again. <laughs> that means I have to go all the way back to the original area that I was after the start. Go through the underwater cave once again and then go climb back up and get that. Which means I'm gonna have to go through the super flame portal again in order to get to the area where I can drop down and get to where I need those gems. Ah. Uh. But I'm not worried about that right now. I'm just gonna get this guy. Switch my bubble first. Hey, it's Daisy. Hey, Daisy. Say hi to Peach and Rosalina for me while you're at it. <laughs> One of my favorite Mario Kart players to play as, Princess Daisy. But I'm not here to talk about Mario Kart, I'm here to play this game. <laughs> Once again, a pretty ordinary name for a dragonfly. I thought he'd have a pr uh, much more unique name, but... Should I say she? But Daisy's a good name, I have nothing against it. And I'm gonna stop here, so thank you guys so much for watching this, and I will see you guys again next time.